here's what I hope will be a very quick video on how to remember the unit circle. As you can see here, we have a completely filled in unit circle, lots of data to memorize, and if you had to remember it all at once, you might be in trouble. The lucky thing is you don't have to remember it all at once. Start with filling in the angles. Start on the positive x-axis, you haven't rotated at all, that's zero radians. Moving around the circle, you have pi over 6 first, then pi over 4, then pi over 3. By the time you're at the top, you're at a quarter of the circle, so pi over 2. If you went another quarter of the circle, you'd be at pi. Another quarter of the circle, you'd be at 3 pi over 2. And all the way back around, you'd be at 2 pi, which is the same angle on the unit circle as 0. What about the other pi over 6s? Well, the pi over 6s are always on those rays closest to the x-axis. So here's one. That's 5 pi over 6. Here's another, 7 pi over 6. That's just one more than 6 pi over 6, which is pi. This is just one less than 2 pi, so that would be 11 pi over 6. The pi over 4s are always in the middle. There's 1 pi over 4. 2 pi over 4 is already taken by pi over 2, so let's go to 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. For the pi over 3s, pi over 3, another third of a pi, because it's 2 pi over 3, pi would be 3 pi over 3, so then we have 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3 on those rays furthest from the x-axis in each quadrant. Now we can start filling in our points. On the x and y axes, these are easy. 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, negative 1. The other ones you just need to memorize. Memorize the ones in the first quadrants. Pi over 6 corresponds to root 3 over 2, comma 1 half. Pi over 4 corresponds to root 2 over 2, comma root 2 over 2, and pi over 3 corresponds to 1 half root 3 over 2. If we remember that the x value starts at 1 and goes to 0, so these x values should be decreasing, that will help you remember which point goes where. Once you find those, all the other ones can be found by referring to these angles. If you go straight across the y-axis, you're in another something pi over 6. That's going to have the same form, root 3 over 2, but the x value is negative because we're in the second quadrant. The third quadrant, for a pi over 6 point, both the root 3 over 2 and the 1 half are negative. And the last point, we have root 3 over 2 and 1 half again at a pi over 6, but now the y value is negative. The same thing holds for pi over 4 points. They're all going to be root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, but in the second quadrant, the x value is negative. They are both negative, x and y, in the third quadrant, and just the y value is negative in the fourth quadrant. And finally, at any pi over 3 point, 2 pi over 3 again, it's going to be a 1 half and root 3 over 2, but the x value is negative. Both the x and y are negative for 4 pi over 3, and just the y value is negative in the fourth quadrant at 5 pi over 3. Hope this video has helped, and thanks for watching.